Hi everyone, this is Mahalit from Cyber Panel and in today's video we will be talking about what is Belgan SMTP Rally and how you can set it up. So basically an SMTP Rally is a mail server or a message transfer agent that is instructed to pass your message on to another mail server that can deliver air to its intended destination which is basically your end user. So just like in a Rally race your message gets to go through multiple sources until it reaches its final destination. The purpose of doing that so is that while sending out bulk emails or mass emails, your account doesn't get flagged off as a spam sender. So to uh, stop that from happening, what you do is you send off your emails via different channels until they reach their destination. So today we will see how you can set it up and without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay, so first of all, we'll be seeing how you can add and verify your domain in Mailgun. So just come onto your Mailgun's dashboard. From here, click on sending and go into domains. Once you come over here, I have already added my domain, but I'll sh uh, still show you how you can add your domain. So just simply click on add new domain, enter your domain and your region and click on add, your, uh, add new domain and automatically your domain will appear over here. Now to verify this domain, that's the important question. So go into your domain settings. From here, select your domain. Once you have selected your domain, click on DNS records. <clears throat> From here, you ne we need the TXT type records and the CNAME type record. So you need to put these records in your DNS manager so i'm using cloudflare so again just going uh, you have you need to enter your domain uh, beforehand in cloudflare once you do that click on dns from dns click on add record now first of all we need the txt type record next we need the host name Lastly, we need the value. Once you do that, click on save. Add it. Very quickly, we are going to add the next two records as well. So my TXT type records are done. I can... Uh, I don't need to receive emails, so I don't need the MX type record, but I need to send, and I need um, to send, that's why I had the TXT type record. Lastly, I need some record keeping. So for that, I need the CNAME type record to enter in uh, so that my logs can be populated. Lastly, your value. Turn off the proxy status, that's important. Click on save and once all your records are done, simply click on verify DNS settings. Once you do that, you'll see little tick marks against the records. So that means that your domain is verified with Vega. Next, we need to create email and issue SSL in Cyber Panel. So let's jump on to Cyber Panel. Now in Cyber Panel, all you have to do is, first of all, go to SSL from the left-hand side menu, scroll down, click on Mail Server SSL. And you need to select your website. Now, since I don't have a website, I'll quickly show you how you can add your website. So go into Websites, click on Create Website. From here, enter your site information and click on create website. Now it's super simple to create website with Cyber Panel and it's just going to take a couple of seconds for our site to be ready. All right, so once that is done, now when we go into SSL and Mail Server SSL, you will see that your domain name will appear in the list now. Select your domain name, click Issue SSL. 
okay so ssl has been issued next we need to create an email now for that go into email create uh, click on create email From here, select your domain name and enter your username. Enter your password and click on create email. Once you do that, your email account will be created. So now we have added our domain name and verified it in Mailgun. We have a site deployed on CyberPanel and we have issued SSL against it and we have created an email account. Next, what we need to do is we need to edit the post with configuration file. Now for that, we need our SMTP credentials, which you will get from Mailgun. So from Mailgun, again, go into sending. From here, click on domain settings. From here, click on SMTP credentials. Now you'll see that this is going to be your user login. You can get your password when you click on reset password, and this will be your host name. Okay, so once we have all these three things, just let us go into our SSH and open our terminal. All right, so once you do that uh, in our server's SSH, let me just clear it quick, quickly. Now, first of all, what we need to check is we need to check whether or not our port 25 is blocked or not. So for that, we'll write telnet and this host name next smtp.mailgun.org and from here next we need the port 25 the port 25 we're going to check okay since it's trying and not doing anything else we know that our port 25 is blocked so we need to check whether or not our port 587 is blocked or not let me just close this up Now port 587 is basically for DNS and SSL. Once I do that instantaneously, I have, I, uh, I get to know that it's running, I've connected to it. And that means that my port 587 is open. Of course, you can always get your port 25 open by asking your, um, by, uh, by asking your providers, uh, your DNS provider to open this up for you. But if they don't, you can always jump to 587. So once I'm do, done with that, let me just get out of it quickly. All right, so now let us enter the nano command. Nano, and after that, you need your post with configuration file. This is going to be your post with configuration file. I'll also mention this in the description of the video. Once I do that, click enter, and you'll enter your file. Now simply scroll down by using the downward key to the very bottom. Now from here you can see that this, now I have already entered it basically, so but I'll still show you this, that against relay host, if your host is not as same as that of Mailgun, you need to change it. For that you need to move around using your cursor keys and using backspace to eliminate it and enter this information. Next, we need our user. Now our user is going to be after static and colon till the last static. Again, my login is same as that of, the, uh, as that of Mailgun, so I'm again good with it. Next, I need my password. Now, before colon is going to be my login user and after colon is going to be my password. Now to get my password, all I need to do is click on reset password Click on reset password. This little pop-up will appear. Click on copy. And all you have to do is scroll to the very end of this line. Remove the password. And paste the password that you just took from there. Now, once you are done with that, once you have entered your host name, you have checked your login user, you have checked your um, password, all you need to do is click on, uh, click, control, hold control and O to 
to write out. Now once you do that click enter and instantaneously our file has been edited. Now to exit this file you need to click on uh, you need to hold control and select X. So you're out of it. So now we have edited our post fix configuration file. All right. So once all of this is done, we have now added domain and verified it in MailGuard. We have created email and issued SSL against it in Cyber Panel. We have changed our post fix configuration file according to our SMTP credentials. Lastly, what we need to do is send out a test email. So once everything is done, you can simply go into cyber panel from here click on emails and from the very bottom click on access web mail now enter the credentials that you set while setting the email account So once you enter this credentials, you enter this um, email setting, simply click on new message. Since we are sending out an email, write any email, I'm just going to write my email over here where you want to send your email next, enter your subject, test subject, test email. Once you do that, click on send. It's super simple. Now that we have sent our email, let's check out whether or not it has appeared with the correct post name in MailGun. So open your MailGun account from here, click on logs. From the left hand side menu under uh, sendings and you'll see our successful email that we have just delivered now our host name is same as that of our email account so we know that everything is good we have successfully set it our mailgun smtp relay so that's it for today if you still have any questions just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe cyber panel